students welcome to solve cells classes in this video i will be solving a question from iss 2016 paper 3 now let us move to our question now here we have to give a practical example where the two stage sampling may be adopted and then for the equal size stage units we have to obtain an estimator for population mean and its variance now let us start with what do we mean by two stage sampling or what happens in two stage sampling now suppose we have a population we have a population of size say mn units so we have a population of size mn units now this population it is getting divided into n clusters so this population of mn units it is getting divided into n clusters of size m so clusters of m unit cluster of m units so this entire population of size m n units it is being divided into n clusters of each of size m units now from these n clusters in the first stage of sampling that is in stage 1 of sampling stage 1 of sampling we are selecting say n clusters so we are selecting n clusters from these capital n clusters so this is the first stage of sampling and in the second stage of sampling what we are doing is we are selecting m units from each clusters so we are so from each of these clusters we are selecting m units so from each of these clusters we are selecting m units so overall we would have a sample of m into n units so this is the stage 2 of two stage sampling where we select samples from each of these sampled or selected clusters so initially we have the population of mn units from which which gets partitioned into n clusters of size m units so these are the clusters of size m and there are n of such clusters then from each from these n clusters or these n units of first type we select n clusters that is we select n units of first type of sampling and this is our stage 1 now in stage 2 we select m units from each of these selected samples and thereby we will get a sample of size m into n units now one of the practical situation or practical example in which this two stage sampling can be adopted is the testing of quality or testing for quality assurance quality assurance before during and after manufacture of drug and after manufacture of drug products now 
Now, in pharmaceutical industries, these tests for testing or having the tests for quality assurance that occur before, during or after the manufacture of drug products. Now, in these testings, this is the practical place where two-stage sampling can be involved. So, in this testing of the quality assurance before, during and after manufacture of drug products, the two-stage sampling technique, two-stage sampling technique, sampling technique, This can be practically adopted. Can be practically adopted. Now, in two state sampling, we can write expectation of Y bar MN. This is equals to E1, E2 of this y bar mn now here this expectation of y bar mn it is the average over all samples so it is average over all samples this e1 this denotes the average over all first stage samples that is over all clusters so it is average over all first stage samples first stage samples and this e2 this is average over all possible second stage samples or second stage selections so this is average over all possible second stage so it is the average over all possible second stage selections selections from a fixed set of units from a fixed set of units so we get expectation of y bar mn it is equals to e1 of e2 of y bar mn now this is equals to x e1 of e2 of y bar i n given so this is equals to e1 of e2 of y bar i m given i where this y bar i m it is the average or sampling average of the units selected from ith cluster so this is equals to e1 into e2 y bar i m given i now this is as this because as the second stage this is dependent on the stage one so as second stage is dependent dependent on stage one so this is equals to e1 of 1 by n summation i runs from 1 to n y i bar now it is like this because this y bar i m it is the unbiased estimator so this y bar i m this is an unbiased estimator for for y i bar as this selection of sampling from the selected samples it follows simple random sampling so this y i m bar is the unbiased estimator of y i bar due to 
due to simple random sampling without replacement so from here we get this is equals to 1 by capital N into summation I runs from 1 to capital N Y I bar and this is equals to Y bar so from here we can say that this Y bar M N this is an unbiased estimator unbiased estimator of the population mean of the population mean which is given by capital Y capital Y bar so this y bar mn this is an unbiased estimator of the population mean y bar now the variance of y bar mn so the variance of y bar mn this is equals to e1 of variance or v2 of y bar given i plus v1 of e2 of y bar given i so this variance of this variance of y bar m it is equals to e1 expectation 1 of variance 2 of y bar given i plus variance 1 of expectation 2 of y bar given i then this is equals to e1 of variance 2 of 1 by n into summation i runs from 1 to small n y i bar given i plus v2 of plus v1 of e2 so it is e1 of v2 of 1 by n summation i runs from 1 to small n y i bar given i plus v1 of e2 of again 1 by n summation i runs from 1 to n y i bar given i So from here we can get this variance of y bar mn this is equals to e1 of 1 by n square into summation i runs from 1 to n variance of y i bar given i plus v1 of 1 by n into expectation or e2 of summation i runs from 1 to n y i bar divided by i so from here we can say that this is equals to e1 into bracket 1 by n square into summation i goes from 1 to n 1 by m minus 1 by capital m into si square and this plus v1 of 1 by n now if we take expectation inside then we will get summation i runs from 1 to n expectation of y i bar given i so from ever we can say that this is equals to 1 by n summation i goes from 1 to n y i bar now if this 1 by n summation i runs from 1 to n y i bar if this part this is equals to y bar c where well, this y bar c it is the average which is based on the clusters 
mean so it is the average based on cluster means so from here we will get so we will get variance of y bar mn this is equal to 1 by n square into summation i runs from 1 to n then summation i runs from 1 to n 1 by m minus so e1 that is expectation 1 of s i square plus variance 1 that is v1 of y bar c so from this we will get this is equals to 1 by n square into n into 1 by small m minus 1 by capital M now this e1 of s si square this is equals to sw bar square where this s w bar square this is equals to 1 by n summation si square which is equals to 1 by capital n into m minus 1 into summation i goes from 1 to n into summation j goes from 1 to m yij minus yi bar so this is equals to that is variance of y bar mn this is equals to 1 by n square into n where this will cancel out each other into 1 by m minus 1 by capital m into sw bar square plus now this part is capital n minus small n divided by capital n into small n into s b square where this s b bar square this is equals to 1 by capital n minus 1 into summation i goes from 1 to capital n y i bar minus y bar whole square so this variance of y bar mn it is equals to this variance of y bar mn this is equals to 1 by n into 1 by small m minus 1 by capital M into SW bar square plus 1 by small n minus 1 by capital N into SB bar square where these values of SW bar square and SB bar square are given above as this. So, this is the variance of the unbiased estimator of the population mean y bar mn.